Welcome back dreamers, I'm Kira and this is Homestead Dreaming and today I wanted to show you phase one of my front yard garden transformation and I know I say this a lot but I really am super excited because this is going to change my entire gardening game and so done yet um, this is all we could do with three kids and uh, two days so um, let me show you exactly what we're doing you can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high even if the sky is falling down so of course we started out with four raised beds in our front yard already we had raspberries and blueberries blackberries and grapes in them um, we decided to go ahead and replace the wood for those particular beds and um, go ahead and expand and add a whole lot more these four beds here were the original four we added some garden posts here for the blackberries to give them a little bit of support this also is not a permanent structure we will be replacing this with um, something a little bit more permanent. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. This first row is double stacked in the front and single stacked in the back. And that's because this area of the yard here is sloped slightly. And for the beds to be even, we needed a second stack. Um, as you can see, we've added a few support pieces to these two because all of these will end up being double stacked as well. So, over the years, we've built a multitude of boards warp easily and Phillips had screws strip. so for these we decided to go all in on two by four studs and the reason why we did that is because we wanted a thick sturdy piece of wood that would be less likely to warp in the elements um, and we're going to double stack them so they will be very sturdy and ideally will last the entire gardening time that we will be here at this property because this is not a forever home and we will eventually be growing to more land and um, ideally we won't have to replace any of these beds during the time that we're here. This bed here has our grapes, which haven't been trellised yet. Um, however, we are considering an arch trellis for this, for these, um, like we did in the back. Um, and we are also considering a another trellis system, a support system, the way that we did the blackberries. We're undecided. So. If you have any suggestions on how to trellis these grapes, I would love those in the comments. We have grapes in the back, they're on arch trellises, and I love the way that looks. Um, however, I'm a little weary of putting an arch trellis for the grapes in the front here, just because I would end up being sh uh, shading out this back bed, uh, which wouldn't be the worst case scenario. I could always grow things that like shade a little bit more, try to extend my salad greens over the, the summertime, but um, I just, I want to do this the right way. So if you have any suggestions on how to trellis those grapes, please leave those down in the comments below. I really appreciate those types of comments. We decided to go with a star headed um, screw and they're construction screws. They 
are much less likely to strip and they gave us so much less of a headache than a Phillips head screw would have. Um, I've definitely converted Steven, not Chris Pratt, uh, <laughs> on the wonders of star head screws rather than Phillips heads. Hey, what are you doing? What you doing? Hey little one. we have 18 of these two by eight foot beds um, and the reason why we went with that is because I can easily reach all the way across the beds from each side um, generally you see raised beds being four foot across so that you can reach from both sides all the way across and that's great um, but really we wanted to be able to maximize the space as much as we could um, I know a lot of people suggest putting at least enough space to run a lawnmower through. We did not do that. We decided to put a little less space in between the rows and uh, just use our weed eater to weed eat in between the rows. And I, I know that this would be a lot of weed eating. However, we really wanted to maximize the amount of space that we had since we are so limited. So here we have a total of 18 beds and they will all end up being double stacked. Um, and then this row here in the front will also end up extending all the way to the sidewalk. So now we have enough space between these beds and the sidewalk to add another two rows of two by eight beds. Um, however, instead of six in, in these rows, we'll be able to have 13 to 14 depending on how many I decide to put on the other side of my walkway. The goal is to have all of this space, space filled up. So, we'll... so while I'm out here, I thought that I would go ahead and give you a slight little mini garden tour. <laughs> we have a fair amount of stuff growing and thriving in this area. Flat leaf parsley. That is starting to come back already. That's the lavender not doing so well. There's weeds choking out the lemon balm, which is also ethically dead under here. Rosemary. Curled pers parsley. Here is my lemon thyme. Still looking beautiful as ever. So that is what's currently going on in my front yard and my front garden. So I hope you're excited for gardening season because I sure am. I hope that you're excited for garden tours in that new garden space because I sure am. And uh, I can't wait to uh, show you what it looks like when it's all done. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys keep dreaming and don't forget, phase two is coming soon. Ugh. I got locked out.